There may be fewer and fewer vehicles with manual transmissions on the road, but the one thing that we're seeing more of is dual mass flywheels on these manual transmission vehicles. We're gonna find out why they're making a comeback next. This video is sponsored by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper. Visit us online for more information. With the automatic transmission becoming a lot more efficient, we're seeing a lot fewer manual transmission vehicles on the road. But those manual transmission vehicles, we're seeing a trend with those, and it's called the dual mass flywheel. And we're seeing it on two extremes of the marketplace. We're seeing it on the medium duty and heavy duty truck side. The Ford F-150, the 250, Duramax, Power Stroke, and Cummings. Some of these vehicles will have a dual mass flywheel. On the other end of the spectrum, well, we have our compact and economy cars that typically have a four cylinder or even a three cylinder engine that use a dual mass flywheel. What do they have in common? The dual mass flywheel helps to absorb and dampen the power pulses from the crankshaft from going into the transmission, the vehicle, and potentially the driver. With a dual mass flywheel, it has a spring inside between two masses. That spring, well, it's designed to absorb the power pulses and keeps the output side turning at a constant speed that the vibrations are not present. These vibrations can enter the transmission and potentially damage the transmission. If you're servicing one of these vehicles with a dual mass flywheel, you wanna make sure if the vehicle does have high mileage, you replace that dual mass flywheel. The spring inside can become fatigued and potentially break after you perform the clutch job. And that's the last thing you want is a customer coming back with noise from their flywheel because the dual mass flywheel was not replaced when they're replacing the clutch and the plate. Machining them, probably not an option. These are extremely difficult to machine because they typically have two steps on the face. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much. <laughs>